Good afternoon, everyone. We're going into God's Word today. We're looking at Psalm 118. Our phrase today is Psalm 118, God is great. Psalm 118, God is great. We're going to read verses 9 right down to 14. And uh, I pray that it really, really blesses you. In fact, I think we're probably going to start in verse 8. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defence, and he has become my salvation. There's so much in Psalm 118, and I'm going to be preaching from it in a Sunday that's coming soon, that just can encourage us and keep us well fed on the might of our God over these coming weeks and months. But I really just wanted to take a few verses today just to be able to encourage us in this daily devotional. And before I get to looking at the greatness of our God under various headings, I just wanted to give you a testimony of encouragement. In verse 11, it said, They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. That's to do with the nations kind of surrounding God and his, uh, God's people and David. And it said, they swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. Uh, and I just wanted to give a, a testimony. Uh, there was an evening there, it's about a week, eight days ago, and just feeling very overwhelmed with the news. Uh, every time we turn on the news, it has that famous map of the world, and you see the red dots, and they're getting bigger and bigger. And it seemed like little old Ireland was being surrounded by all these nations, and that we were about to be swallowed up by the growing expanse of coronavirus um, so that kind of scripture really related to me uh, and then I went to bed as I said about eight nights ago um, just felt not right didn't feel good uh, my ears were burning it was a very very strange sensation uh, felt am I going to come down with a temperature uh, it was quite caught in my chest and I found this scripture They'd been describing the coronavirus as kind of like these things that you can barely see, uh, not see actually to the human eye, but like just little things that are landing and from droplets and various things. And people were wondering, how do you get it? And does it swarm around you? And does it land on you? And, and, and so that night I was in bed, I just came across the scripture. They swarmed around me like bees, verse 12, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. Uh, I just really want to encourage you with that scripture that, you know, when Pentecost came, there was the fire of God that came on God's people. Uh, and it, it's just remarkable to think that the word of God is referred to at times as being like fire in our bones. And, and I just felt really just the peace of God that the fire of God uh, and the fact of God's presence was going to burn up these busy bees, these little kind of infections as quickly as they tried to come near me. I honestly believe that that's an encouragement for someone who's watching today. And it's Psalm 118, verse 11 and 12. So to get to our main theme for today, Psalm 118, our God is great. The first two verses, verse 8 and 9, pointed to the fact that God is our refuge. And it says that we're not to trust in humans. Now, obviously, we're grateful for all human help. People still in our supermarkets, people that are in our hospitals, people that are in our government, in the HSE, in the NHS, if you're looking for Northern Ireland. But the amazing thing is that as great as they are, there's no one as great as our God. Our full dependency has to be on God as our refuge. So Psalm 118, our God is great because he is our refuge. Verse 10 to 12 tells us that our God is great because we have a God who's got a great name that we can call on. You know, the nation surrounded me and the name of the Lord, I cut them off. These busy bees surrounded me, like swarming around me, these enemies. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. What a precious name, what a powerful name we have in the name of Jesus. Let's use the name of Jesus, depend on the name of Jesus, speak the name of Jesus, not to use it as a curse, but as a blessing and a source of protection. In verse 13, we see that 
God is great because he's our helper. I was pushed back, about to fall, but the Lord helped me. And then verse 14 closes with the fact that God is our strength. He is our defence and he is our salvation. This is why our God is great. Psalm 118. The Lord bless you and be encouraged today in Jesus' name.